Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the evidence lower bound, or the elbow for short. And the material in this video uh, mostly comes from this review for statisticians about variational inference written by David Blay, which is this guy over here. And I've heard, I'm not sure if it's true, that he's also the one who uh, coined the term elbow. Okay, so remember, uh, what I said in the introduction is that in variational inference, what we do is we want to minimize the KL divergence uh, between some surrogate uh, distribution that we are proposing and um, the true posterior, which we do not know. So how can we do that actually? Well, let's try to derive a bit more the KL divergence. Okay, so remember that the KL divergence of Q to P is equal to, in the continuous case, the integral over all the values of Z of QZ log QZ divided by the posterior. And this is equal, if we look at this thing as um, an expected value over QZ, of the expected value over Q of log QZ minus the expected value of the log true posterior. And now this we can leave the same, and this we can use base rule to invert the relation and uh, first to get the joint uh, divided by the evidence. And then we can also break the joint to the likelihood times the prior. Okay? And now this quantity over here, it has kind of a funny name. It's called the variational free energy. And it's a term that was probably coined by physicists because it has the term energy. I personally think this is a bad term for it because this, these whole concepts are not limited only to physics. And I really think that using these physics uh, terminology in mathematics is, is science shooting itself in the foot. So I don't like this term. In any case, uh, if you take the minus of that, if you just replace the terms here, you get what is called the evidence lower bound or the elbow for short. So you can see that the KL divergence of Q and the posterior is equal to minus the elbow plus the log of the evidence. Okay, and the elbow, as you can see, is just, it's the expected value of the log joint minus the expected value of the log surrogate. Okay, and why is this important? I mean, why do we care about this thing over here? And I suggest maybe you pause the video for a few minutes and really think about it. Why is it important that the KL that we want to minimize is equal to some quantity that depends on Q plus the log of the evidence? And the reason why it's important is because, remember, we don't have the posterior, yeah? we can't minimize this function because if we would have the posterior, then we would just use it. The best way to minimize the KL divergence is just use the same posterior, right? If we use the same posterior, we get a KL divergence of zero and we minimize. But we don't have the posterior. What we do have is the likelihood, the prior, and so together we have the joint and we can control for some surrogate family that we will control for, we will optimize, but that's it. We don't have this quantity over here, but it's okay because we are looking for the argmin with regards to Q. So we can't change P, P is given. The only thing we can control for is Q. And so the only thing that we can control for in the KL divergence is the elbow. And if we want to minimize the KL, then we could just maximize the elbow and then with regards to Q, and then we, that's it. We managed to uh, achieve our objective. That is great. This is why we need the elbow. We don't have the exact posterior. We have it until up to a normalizing constant. And so I only need to know the joint. I only need to know the numerator in the base uh, rule, not the denominator. And as you can see, when we want to minimize the KL, with regards to Q, it's the same as maximizing the elbow. 
Okay, and maybe it's better to also write it down. So the arg min of the KL is equal to the arg max of the elbow, so we can just focus on maximizing the elbow. Another thing that is nice to look at is that the elbow is actually balancing between the likelihood and the prior. So the elbow is this expression over here, and we can break it down to uh, log of P of Z, the prior, and the log of the likelihood. And then we have the log of the likelihood. And these two terms, if we um, join them, it's the KL divergence of Q and the prior. So when we are trying to maximize the elbow, what we are trying to do is we are trying to maximize the log likelihood of our data. And we are trying to minimize, right? Because we have a minus sign, so we want this to be as low as possible. So we are trying to minimize the distance, yeah, the, the KL divergence, the dissimilarity between our surrogate and the prior. So we can see that the variational objective, which is maximizing the elbow, naturally mirrors the usual balance between uh, likelihood and prior. Yeah, we want to maximize the likelihood and we want that our uh, distribution will be as close as possible to the prior. And the reason that the evidence lower bound is called the lower bound is because if we go back to this equation over here, we can just move the elbow to the other side and then we get that the log evidence is equal to the elbow plus the KL divergence, yeah? And the KL divergence is always positive, right? It's never negative. So in that sense, the elbow is always below the evidence of our data, the log evidence. So in that sense, it's a lower bound of our evidence. And this is why it's called the evidence lower bound. Okay, that's all for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one. Thank you.